Sometimes you see the line, especially around the neck, the little leathery looking. They're called acanthos. Acanthosis nigricans in patients who are uh, obese, more than 10% of their ideal and body if weight. You saw that. What would be in your differential for the cause? Um, usually that's seen in patients who are obese with insulin resistance. You're concerned that they might have insulin resistance and be on the road to diabetes. And would there any tests that a, a good clinician would order to rule out at least have a baseline? If they're insulin resistant, if they're making more insulin to handle the carbohydrates in their diet, they would have a elevated fasting insulin level. So you would order a fasting insulin level. Okay, what about a fasting blood sugar? Fasting blood sugar should be under a hundred. So if they have a fasting blood sugar, 0 to 99, anything over 100, 110 would be a high uh, fasting blood and, sugar. And if it's under 125 and over 100, it's like that pre... It's in, it's in that area. The other the test, a part of the insulin molecule is the C-peptide. That's the end. And if that is elevated too, that's equivalent to an elevated fasting insulin. Well, and what about hemoglobin A1C? Hemoglobin A1C is a three-month marker of elevated sugars and a elevated hemoglobin 1C is another test that tells you how your sugar control is. So you always have to interpret a test in the light of the individual. It's sort of an average. You can have a high one part of the day and a low the other part. It's the average so sometimes you could be at relatively normal range and it may be a little bit off from your thinking. Right. Well, depending on the history, depending on your weight, and depending on... It's a, it's, it's a fact that you throw into the overall picture. Correct. Okay, and if you are a diabetic, everybody knows you must be doing these every three or four months too. Yes. Okay, is there any one test that you would say is the one that rules out diabetes? The glucose, the three-hour fasting glucose tolerance test would be the definitive test to see if you have elevated sugar.